Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. We're going to do another ham radio video today, but I think the preppers out there might like uh, this one, at least the idea of what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to show you how to send an email with just radio, so you don't need internet access, cell phone access, or access to a computer. And uh, really there are three things you need to get started. Uh, first is your FCC amateur radio license. The entry level technician class license is all you need. Two, a radio that is capable of doing APRS. And I have a few videos I've recorded in the past that uh, talk about how to get started with APRS for about $100. So I'll put that in the link below or in the description below. And then the third thing you need to do is be able to be within range of a DigiPeter and an eye gate in your area. Uh, in my case, it's almost 40 miles away. Um, that's why I'm using the mobile rig because it does have a 50 watt uh, radio in my case. And uh, most of my experiments in this area work perfectly. But we'll find out in the demo. Um, so that's really it. So let's talk about the why I'm doing this. So I like to explore uh, the Jeep trails in the Tonto National Forest behind me. And uh, sometimes I wanna be able to uh, send my wife periodically my geo coordinates so in the event of an accident or something she's able to forward those details to search and rescue uh, so I can send her a very brief email just a one-liner and the email will actually contain all the information she needs it'll have my grid square uh, coordinates it'll have my lat long coordinates it'll have the last time I was beaconed so that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn around the camera and uh, we'll go ahead and do a quick demo for y'all. All right, guys, let's get started. So this is the Kenwood D710GA. It does have built-in GPS and the instructions I'm going to show you are very specific to this radio. Uh, but in general, the principles I'll walk you through apply to any radio that does APRS. So the first thing to keep in mind is that this radio has two bands, band A and band B. And I've already put band A on the uh, nationwide APRS frequency, 144.390. So this is on the 2 meter band. Uh, the next thing we need to do is turn on our TNC. And you can see at the top here where it says APRS 12, um, it indicates that we have our TNC open. And this is similar to the MobiLink TNC device that uh, you can connect to your radio. And again, that's the video that I'll refer you to below where I show you how to do this for about a hundred bucks. Um, the next thing, I wanna be able to relay my GPS coordinates. You'll see at the top here, it says beacon and then GPS. All I need to do is click this GPS uh, button. And when it says IGPS, you know that you are uh, beaconing. The next thing we're gonna do is go to our messages. So we'll press the key button, go to message, and I've already sent a few messages to the uh, email gateway, uh, email-2. We're going to go ahead and click New. And I'm going to use the DTMF keypad here. And uh, this is similar to entering in text messages on a flip phone from like 15 years ago. Um, so what's important for the two message, and this applies to all radios, is that there's a special call sign and SSID and the special call sign is email and the SSID is two. So it's going to be email dash two and it needs to be all in caps. And you'll notice here that um, I don't have to scroll through the lowercase letters. Uh, Kenwood uh, does a really good job of ensuring APRS is implemented to spec. And since this needs to be all in caps, um, it's pretty quick to enter in at least this portion here. So email dash two, oops, there we go. And we're gonna click uh, this button here on the top and it'll drop us into the message body. So there are, there's a limit here. Uh, it can only be 67 characters in length and it consists of two parts. The first is your email that you met or email address you wanna send the message to, a space and then your message. Uh, so this is going to take some time entering this in, so bear with me. Uh, may speed this up in the recording, but I'll send it to info at thetechprepper.com.
and then we have to enter in a space and just the message and uh, I'll put uh, coming home so this will be the informative message so she knows where that I'm on my way home all right so at this point we're all set to go and we'll click this button here and if everything works properly we should have an acknowledgement uh, this was not it I'm getting beacons from other stations but part of the specification is that you will receive an acknowledgement that your email has been sent. And in general, it's taken about ooh, 15 seconds or so. All right, perfect. There we go. So email sent to info at the .com. So at this point, um, if I were to check my email, let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, you'll notice that there are a couple of links here. And all you have to do is click through and you can get your grid square location, your lat long for your geo coordinates, and the time you were last beaconed. Um, and then optionally, you can click through and see a map. All right, guys. So hopefully this was useful. Again, the point here is just being able to communicate some critical tactical information to a non-ham. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will give this a try. If you have any issues, feel free to leave some comments below and either myself or the community will try to help you out. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and uh, be prepared.